welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. It's getting dark. We've been gone all afternoon. We had a wonderful trip over to North Carolina. We're back and everybody is pretty good. We've gone and fed everybody. And of course, they're a little bit hungrier than usual. They had hay and food this morning and enough hay to carry them over through the day. But if you've got goats or chickens or cows, you know as well as I do, they will eat and eat and eat. It doesn't matter. So one of my little goats has overeaten this evening. Uh, and he's fine, he's still doing okay, but he's beginning to bloat a little bit. So I've done this before. I've only had one other situation where a little baby goat got bloated and it was worse than what we saw with this one. So let me show you what I'm gonna do and what I'm mixing up. And you can research this for yourself, but this is how I handled it last time and it worked like a charm. So clearly you're gonna wanna know the size of your goat, the weight and all the specifics and all of that. So I do wanna have that little uh, disclaimer here and saying you have to do what works best for you and the size of your animal. I've done this real fast and furiously. He will not get this much. I just zoomed it in there. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to massage the goat, okay? I haven't done that yet, so this is gonna be a process. I'm gonna massage the goat. You're gonna rub the belly. You're gonna rub on the, particularly the left side, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're still walking. Make them walk, walk, walk. Well, he's jumping around and walking, but he looks like he's bloating a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna first give him a little bit of olive oil, okay? Folks use uh, different types of oils. You can do whatever works best for you. But the last time I had this, I used my olive oil. Worked fine. They don't like it, okay? But it's sort of like the intro uh, to what you're going to do next, which is to give them baking soda. Now, some of the recipes that you're going to read, um, they're going to tell you to give them some, some baking soda, baking soda and water. And I saw one that said to give it with molasses. I give my goats molasses all the time. It's got a lot of minerals and nutrients and they love the taste and it sort of helps with all that bitterness um, from the baking soda. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's see how it works. Okay, so it's dark. You can see from the garage, it is literally getting dark. So we're hustling. So you're gonna say, well, what exactly do I give what, what? And you know, off the top of my head, I'm gonna tell you, I, you need to verify that. We need to verify that together, but I'm just going to do a little bit. I don't think this is going to be a bad case of bloat. Where are you people? Um, but I just want to make sure that uh, we're catching this before it gets off base. The thing is, is you can say, well, I'm going to, you're supposed to give X amount. By the time you're holding that goat and you're trying to give X amount, you may only end up giving half. So we're kind of going with the flow here as it's getting dark. And little fella, like I said, he was doing fine. Now, when Shogu, this is actually that triplet set, <laughs> of that triplet set that I have, and uh, his sister that got bloated, I'm gonna give you some light. When his sister got bloated, she cried. She cried a lot, didn't she? She wasn't trying, she, we, she wouldn't walk, she wouldn't do a lot of different things. And so the number one thing that I did was to make sure that she continued to walk and I would rub her belly, rub her side, rub her belly, make her, and then I would, you know, go down about 10 or 15 feet and she would run, to, not run, but she would walk to me. So I kept her walking, walking, walking. So that worked. So we're going to go in here. We've put them up and uh, we're going to take care of this. It's going to be chaotic because it always is. Hey, I bet if I left you alone, you wouldn't, would you look, oh, what is going, hey, that's my new shirt. Okay. So you can see we're a little bit bloated. We weren't like this before we ate. So we're still, we're acting pretty normal. We're not laying down, we're not crying. So we're just gonna give a little quick preemptive deal here. That's <laughs> we bite my fingers off. And uh, take care of little guy here, right? This is Joey and there's his sister, Tali. And mama's back there. Okay, all right, we got you up. I know you're excited, let's see. <laughs> no, uh-uh. Okay, I know we're excited, kiddos. Mom. What kind of children are you raising in here, Mom? Oh, say hi, hi, show, show. They're excited. Woo! Okay, that's enough. That's enough. I don't think you want that. What is that? Brother got some. No, no. What is that, show, show? Show. He's feeling okay. We don't have a scenario that's bad yet, but it comes on fast. A little bit over here, 
we went out to get her and she was fine. Came, she was eating and nibbling grass. She ate too much. You are my busybody. I know. Stop. And then when we came back out, she couldn't stand up. So this is nowhere near that scenario, okay? But I'm telling you, this worked great last time, so I'm just getting ahead of it. So he's standing. He's playing. His sister is nuts. We got to get that belly, belly down. You're nosy. It's already, it's pretty amazing. Because what that does is help them, don't you, don't you toot in my face. <laughs> but you want them to be, you want them to start the walking and the rubbing and the oil. It's helping to, it's helping to give that relief, isn't it? Yeah. Sister, we got to talk. All right, so I'm mixing the baking soda. I don't know, I did about a table. I don't know what I did, I just, I just went with it, people. When you have an emergency and you're using something like this, I just I just go for it, I, I know, okay? So it's really sweet, it's really sticky, it's really tasty. So we're just gonna start with a nice tablespoonful because the reality is he may only get half of that. So we're gonna have to set the bowl down because clearly this is a good bowl. Is it like taffy? It's like taffy, isn't it? I feel like we're at Smoky Mountain Candy Makers. Okay. Okay. Sister, you're out of control. Attention, attention. Are you feeling better? Oh, hey, Coco. Okay, so we brought them in. It's a trio, you know, triplets and mama. They stay tight. Hey, Cochise, don't sit on my lap. My gosh, what? I think we're doing okay. See, we're standing, we're participating with life. But this one over here, like I said, Little Miss Show Show, when she got bloated, it looked like she had swallowed a beach ball and she did not fare well with it. We were very concerned. I did this as an option, quick and foremost. It was late at night when we got home. It was when we were starting to move in here. Do you remember back in the winter when I was taking the goats with me places? Okay, well, we brought them here and when we had the fencing put up, we put them outside in the little fencing area. Thought, oh, this is great. It's a warm day. It's sunny. There's green grass growing. Didn't even think about it. She ate too much green grass. Got too big of a belly. So he's doing pretty good. So we're going to keep an eye on him. But again, like I said, Google this and look at the portions and the size of your babies and what you think and go with that. I just want to make sure I've said that. But again, olive oil, give it to him first. A lot of rubbing and massaging. Make them walk. And then you wait a few minutes or so, and then you come in. I'm telling you, the molasses makes all the difference in the world. They still aren't too sure about that bitterness of the baking soda, but it works much better than mixing it with water or just plain Jane. All right, guys, quick video for you. Write it down. Keep it as something as a, a good note for you to note for your homestead because it's a skill, and those with skills are the ones that people need. I'm telling you. We'll see you on the next video. Love you. Talk to you soon.